Hi, I'm Fernanda White. And I'm Jacob White, and we're the chefs of Pomodoro Restaurant. Today we'll be cooking a jasmine rice and chorizo stuffed quail. And the cool thing about this is this is kind of a substitute to get away from that four hour Christmas goose, but you're gonna spend a lot less time making it. So for the rice stuffing, you wanna start with some really nice chorizo. This is fresh chorizo, we just crumble it up. You're gonna put a little bit of canola oil on the pan, just enough to kinda of like really cover the bottom of the pan. And you want pretty high heat on this because you wanna get a nice sear on that chorizo. You just want roughly same sizes so it all cooks nicely. We're gonna add a little bit of mercan, which is a traditional spice blend from Chile. Gives it a really nice flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and add all of my onions. And we just really wanna cook everything nicely. We're gonna add the garlic. And don't be shy with the garlic. You can already smell it, it smells really good. I'm gonna grab my white wine here. I'm gonna need some cooked rice and throw it all in here. And we're just gonna toss this nicely together. So now that everything's thoroughly combined, we're gonna go right onto a sheet tray and really scrape the bottom. All those kind of like toasty pieces are usually the best. Just gonna spread it out into a single layer so it cools down quickly. You can throw this in the fridge if you're in a hurry or you can just let it sit at room temp for a little bit. And now we're ready to stuff our quail. And as you can see, it's perfect little size for sharing. You just want to pat them dry in case that there's any extra moisture. And then we're going to go ahead and season the cavity with a little bit of salt, each one. And then you want to open them up nice. And then you're going to grab a nice tablespoon of the stuffing and go right in it. You don't want to stuff it so much that it's going to explode when it's cooking, so make sure you have a little room. This is good. I still have a little space. I'm going to cross their leg. And this is a really fun activity to do with the kids because you get to do different shapes with your quail. So when we have them all like this, make sure you have some twine. If you don't have any twine, you can maybe use some uh, skewers or toothpicks to kind of keep the cavity closed. You want to go under the bird, and then go back up, and then you're going to go right under the legs. So, right here. And then you're just gonna tie them again. And this is gonna keep everything together. So I'll give you a hand tying these. Thank you. It's about time, you know? I'm gonna get the pan uh, heating up so we can sear these guys. You want a nice little layer so you can shallow fry them. Now we're gonna gently set the quail in, being very careful. We're gonna do it breast side down. So while this is going, we're gonna go ahead and make the sauce. So in a separate clean saute pan, just gonna gently heat the pan and add just a little bit of canola oil. We're gonna go ahead and add the shallots. You wanna hear a sizzle when they hit the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Also gonna add a touch of Merken. White wine, champagne vinegar, I'm going to go in with about two cups of pomegranate juice. And my goal is now to reduce this sauce at least by three quarters. So these guys look really nice, nice and golden brown. I'm going to flip them gently. And then we're going to throw them in the oven and finish the cooking process there. You can see the sauce is bubbling and it's reduced nicely. I'm going to run it through a tea strainer. I'm making sure to get all the sauce out of the shallots. So my next step is I'm going to add it back to the pan. Make sure the heat is off. We're going to finish it with a little bit of unsalted butter. It's going to enhance the natural sweetness of the sauce and it's going to add a nice shine. You dip a spoon into it. You can make a line through it like that and that's kind of what we're looking for. So after about 10 minutes, you want to pull the quail out. It smells really good. Those look great. Mm -hmm. So we're going to transfer the quail. And we're going to remove the strings from them. So at this point, I like to use scissors. Just going to be careful because they're really hot. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to take beautiful greens. We're going to dress them in little extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of fresh lemon juice, 
and a touch of salt. And this is gonna act as a bed for our quail. I'm just gonna garnish with this beautiful pomegranate gas streak. And just for a little extra South American flavor, we're just gonna do a little bit of cilantro right over. And the last thing we'll do, is sprinkle it with a little bit of American, and that's it. This is our Christmas quail done Commodore style.